What the hell was that last night? What was that? That's really that's the strangest result of this season, easily. But I think the the oddest part was, uh, and again, uh, in my opinion, if Tom Brady gets pressured like that, um, he's they don't have a chance. So you know, I I uh, you know you've got to ask Bruce Arians, Byron Leftwich, their um, you know the coaching staff. Um, about their protection for Brady and how that's going to get fixed. If that doesn't get fixed, uh, the uh, I, the Bucks will be one and out in the one and done, whatever the cliche is in the playoffs. Um, but I think the other part of it that was very odd to me was I wrote a little bit about this today. Okay, so on Breeze's last touchdown pass, okay, to Hill, the tight end. Did you see what Levante David did in the end zone in that on that play? It's like he had no idea where he was, and he was asking for help, and he was motioning with his hands. And then when the ball was snapped, he barely covered the tight end. It was just one of the – that's one of the strangest plays of the day. And that's that's supposed to be a top three to five defense in the league. It was – I don't know what to make of that. But there is not a more – there's not a, a, a game in the NFL that set, this season that sets off alarm bells more for a team. And I include uh, the Packers' loss at Tampa. This was the most alarming game. Uh, and, and honestly, Rich, you know, look, the Saints were fantastic, okay, utterly fantastic. But that's what the Saints do. They play a thousand guys on offense. You have no idea how many guys they're shuffling in and out of the lineup. Eleven different guys catching a pass in the first twenty minutes of the game, and before you know it, it's twenty-one nothing. That's the Saints. Now they can't always do that, but that's the Saints at their peak. So that really didn't shock me, to be honest. What shocked me is the deficiencies on the offensive line of Tampa and on defense. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, Breeze last night um, was kind of asked the same question I asked you, like, what 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 happened there? And Breeze's response was something similar to the fact, like, I don't know, they, they had all their guys too, and he got all his guys back, and he got he got the you know arguably the best receiver in the league back last night. I mean, what a difference maker, and just in terms of uh, coverage needing to respect him, his nobody nobody goes over the middle like him uh, uh, on that roster. Um, and presents uh, a target for Drew Brees quite like that. And then that's what opens everything else up, whether it's Taysom Hill or Adam Troutman, you know? I mean, that that's – yeah. and then you got a master at the controls uh, in a headset on the sideline and in a helmet on the field. I mean, that's what makes this team so difficult, Peter. You know, I wrote about the Adam Troutman touchdown in my column today, and that – the reason I wrote about it is that – when the play happened, I looked at who was on the field for uh, New Orleans. Okay, now, left to right, okay, Michael Thomas was wide receiver split left. In the left slot was Jared Cook, you know, the big tight end. Yes. And then you had Adam Troutman, the rookie tight end uh, from University of Dayton, uh, tight to the formation on the right. And then they had their fullback, okay, Mike Burton, <laughs> uh, split out wide right. So the wide receivers <laughs> were were Michael Thomas and Mike Burton, who I don't even think Mike Mike Burton is a household name in his own household. <laughs> and 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 he's this short kind of chunky guy, and he's out there at wide receiver. So everybody, you know why Sean Payton does that? Because now everybody thinks that he's going to pick either Jared Cook, you know, to the left, or he's going to play, a, a, throw a fade to Michael Thomas. So what does he do? He locks his eyes onto Jared Cook, and then at the last moment, just quickly swivels back to the inside, and he hits Adam Troutman in the end zone for a touchdown. And again, it's so obvious, you think, well, you know, they're never they, – no one would ever expect us to go to Adam Troutman or Mike Burton. And then that's where they go, 
And I, I don't know. To me, I just think Sean Payton in so many ways is playing chess while everybody else is playing checkers. I, he's such a smart, not only play designer and play caller, but people utilizer. You know, that's, that's what really makes him good. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.